Hey guys, welcome back to Vintage Halloween. Today is a fun day. I thought today we would just go over my capsule collection for my trip to Sleepy Hollow, which is happening next week. Um, I'm very excited about this. I've never been to Sleepy Hollow before, um, so this is gonna be super fun. I thought it'd be fun to put together a sort of a, my own take on what a spooky wardrobe capsule collection is because there are many different definitions of that um, in the spooky community. Um, but yeah, so that is what our video is gonna be about. We're gonna put together outfits, we're gonna look at it and talk about it, and um, yeah, it's gonna be fun. Um, but yes, yeah, so my spiel. So if you are new to my channel, hi everyone, I'm Laura. Thank you guys so much for checking me out, um, checking my channel out, not me, whatever. Um, <laughs> I am a Halloween enthusiast. I love all things Halloween. I love to decorate big for Halloween every year and I love to paint Halloween paintings. So I have a Halloween art business called Halloween Hill Studio and Etsy where I sell original Halloween illustrations and prints and everything like that. Um, you can find me on Instagram under the Halloween Collector for decor and Halloween Hill Studio for art. And yeah, let's just roll into it. So, spooky style. So I feel like when you think of like iconic sort of style in the Halloween community, you think of like maybe three different things. The first one I think of is like the iconic sort of spooky t-shirt. Um, it could be like a horror tee or a regular t-shirt and sort of like fun Halloween jewelry and maybe like a Halloween bag. So this is sort of my example. So like this is just a fun spooky t-shirt that you'd wear and then you have like cute um these are just really cute jack lantern earrings you could wear them like with that that's like a really cute outfit and this always slays it's always gorgeous it's like an iconic outfit that like never fails and i feel like i, I see so many of y'all in that and it's so cute especially with the different halloween bags you can like make different outfits it's just it's always it's a win-win it's always adorable um i just want to say this house glows in the dark and okay, so that's the first one I always think of. The second one I, is like just the iconic all black outfit, like all black dresses, like all black hoodies with pant, black pants and black boots and like all the all like chic black outfits that y'all make are so good and so cool. And like the spooky elements you can add to it, like spooky jewelry um, is so cool. I love that. There's always time. It's always iconic. And if you're going on a trip, everything goes together because everything's black. So that always works. The third style I think about is more like sort of like the pinup 50s style, um, but with like spooky prints. And so an example I have is this sort of um, sort of 50s inspired skirt. Um, but if you look at it, it's the Headless Horseman print. And I can't remember. This is Kitschy Witch Designs. That is the name of the brand. And um, I've had this for a number of years. Um, it's very, very cute. I love it. I've worn it many times. And, and it's the Headless Horseman. So for Sleepy Hollow, I was like, that could be cool. However, I feel like none of the three styles we just mentioned are really my style. So like I wanted to do something that was sort of different, um, something that like was more my style. Because I feel like I love dressing like that, but I want to do something that's more like, it, it is the summer. So, I mean, I have like 75 pumpkin colored sweatshirts that I want. Like I want to, like, like you can't wear like pumpkin sweatshirts for everything in the summer. So I figured my goal for this trip is to do something different. So my theme for the capsule collection for this trip is sort of Victorian Halloween ghoul on vacation. And it's gonna have like a lot of lace elements, a lot of like unique brooches and jewelry and things like that. I actually have a piece from my great grandmother, I think, or my great great grandmother, which is their like antique cameo, which I'm gonna incorporate into my wardrobe. So think about something like this shirt. This is, I'm definitely taking this on vacation. Um, but you can just see like all the lace details. This is very much my style. So I figured this would be fun. Um, I have way too many pairs of pants, way too many dresses in the mix. Um, it's gonna be sort of cool. Like the temperatures are like 60s, 70s and then get down the 50s at night. So uh, I figure we can layer, do some layering and um, yeah, just like roll into it. And this is so fun. I've been working on this for a couple weeks. Um, there are gonna be more videos like this just because I am going on another trip next month to San Diego, uh, which is totally different from, you know, Sleepy Hollow and New York State. Um, it's, it's not the best trip just because my cousin passed away and he was 31 and it's very like heartbreaking and like sudden. I'm not gonna say anything more just to, you know, honor my family's privacy, but that's just not like a, a one. I mean, it'll be good to see family, but it's just sort of a sad occasion. So I'm hoping we're gonna be there for a couple days um, before the service and after the service. So maybe there'll be something fun to explore in San Diego. So that's gonna be another trip we can prepare for um for our spooky capsule collection but for this one upstate new york it's gonna be victoriana meets spooky spooky um so let's go take a look at my clothes that i've put together and um try some things on and uh yeah roll into it 
So we have now moved into my bedroom. Um, this is just a little like tasty taste of my bedroom here. Um, yeah. And that's my mess back there on that side of the room. But this is my capsule wardrobe that I put together. Um, as you see, we have some sweatshirts, we have some t-shirts, we have some short sleeve shirts, long sleeve blouses. These are the pants, dresses here, and then sort of things that go over. So we have like this jacket, and then we have a denim jacket and this lace piece. Um, and then for the shoes, um, I'm definitely gonna go with these sandals I'm wearing now. Um, and then just my slip on Adidas, easy for the airport some black slides that are have a little bit of a heel. Um, also, of course you have to have the boots cause yeah. And uh, the purses we got here, um, this one is of course the JOL, it's iconic, we need to bring that. Um, a black belt that looks good with everything. This backpack is my favorite little leather backpack for the plane, just to put a book in, you know, just the necessities. Um, I love this one just cause it's fun and we're gonna be in New York City for a couple days. So I thought it'd be fun for that. And this is my favorite um, Halloween bag. This is my Verona black bag made by Danielle herself in her Etsy shop. And I love the bat and moon detail, so that'll be fun. Um, and then we just have, of course, the black sweatshirt, black hoodie, and these are just two long sleeve, sort of warm thermal shirts. We have just some neutral t-shirts. We have to have, you know, the Halloween t-shirt in the mix here. This is from Halloween T-Shirt Co., which I love, another sort of green t-shirt. And then we have sort of the Victorian influence with the poofy sleeves. Um, this is a short sleeve, beautiful shirt. This one is more neutral. I'm gonna be watching some baseball games, so this is just sort of a neutral linen for that. And another sort of Victorian inspired short sleeve blouse. And then we have the long sleeve. I love this one. I think this is uh, Free People. Um, it's very fun. And then this is, of course, pink little number. I love just the color of it. It's like sort of Victorian, but like also summery. This blue number. And of course, apparently I have a thing for these types of sleeves because all of them are the same sleeves. And this one, of course, is um, a classic, I think, Target from maybe a couple years ago. And we have that in two colors. And then just pants. And then we have dresses. This one sort of was giving Sleepy Hollow to me, so I thought that'd be cute. This one's giving anthro vibes. Um, and yeah, like more sort of Victorian. And then we have jackets back here. So that is the wardrobe. I will start trying things on and we can see some outfits. Okay, so we've moved into the bedroom area. Um, and I guess like the first outfit we can start with is just what I'm wearing now. And like, this is just a cute outfit and by itself, you can even tuck the front into the pants and have it sort of, you know, lazy tucked, but I just love the detail on this piece. I don't know if you guys can see it because there's so much glare here. Maybe that will help. Um, but just like the detail on this piece and also that it sort of comes in and it's still form fitting. And yet you have all of this drama and like, it's just gorgeous. So I'm gonna leave it out a little bit. I do have this necklace. Um, this is one I think I found at TJ Maxx. I just like how, you know, I love the pop color. I love the gold and it's just sort of a fun piece. So we might bring this on the trip. We might bring something else. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so if it's cold, like in the sixties, I just have this cute, adorable denim jacket. Um, I like it cause it has an elasticized back. So you still have that form fitting piece, but it also has a huge sleeve. So that is very beneficial when you have giant sleeves because then you can fit, you know, a cute jacket over your poofy Victorian sleeves. Um, and it still looks really, really chic. And look at the side. So it, it goes in on the side. I sort of like that oversized feel. I think that looks really, really cute. Um, and you can pair this with like even the cute backpack just to like hang out, walk around, sightsee. Here I have it with jeans, um, but I have these same jeans in black. I have not found Maybe y'all know, but I have not found any jeans for like a curvy figure that are flattering that aren't skinny jeans. Maybe I just haven't found the right ones. I don't know, but these are both from Walmart. <laughs> They're super cheap, but they fit really, really well. So I have the denim pair. They're also sort of cropped. Ugh. The problem with this video is that you can't see my legs. So you can see the whole outfit, but they're sort of cropped, which I like. Here are the black ones. Um, so you can sort of see how the bottom is cropped and sort of distressed, which is fun. Um, yeah. And see, this would even look cute with the black pants. So you have multiple outfits you can put with the pants. I probably don't need this many pair of pants, but we're going to roll with it. So yeah, so that is the first outfit. Okay. So the second outfit we have on, this is an adorable, very Victorian inspired free people top I've had for years. It's a little large, 
Um, you know, as all free people stuff is, it's oversized. Um, I've just tucked it into the same jeans I have here. It's a cute outfit. And so for the piece de resistance of this ensemble is my great, great grandmother's brooch, which I have right here. I don't know if you can see that very well. Um, it's just so beautiful, beautiful carved cameo in gold. Um, I've made sure it is secure as heck on here because I do not want it to fall off by any means. Um, but yeah, so that's like sort of my basic cute outfit. It looks cute like this. You can sort of roll the sleeves up if you wanted. Um, but then I have another piece to layer over this, which is this sort of lace duster. And y'all like the combination of this like is so fun. And I was like, this is really exciting. I've had this duster for years. I didn't know what to do with it. Like, you know, you have those pieces that you're just like, I don't understand what to do with this. It looks sort of weird over like a, you know, tank top. But this is so fun to layer over this lace top. It's just like another layer of fun lace and like having it over jeans. It's hard to see because I don't have a full length area here. It looks so cute. It looks super, super cute. Um, you could have like any purse with it, really. It could carry any bag with it. Um, we could even do our spooky, spooky purse. Um, I think this looks cute. Boop. And then, um, yeah, I'm thinking maybe we need a jacket. So let's try this jacket. We're going right back to our classic denim. Again, the poofy sleeves are saving me because I have poofy sleeves in every single piece that I picked for this wardrobe. Um, but yeah, how cutie cute is this? Super cute. I love the detail. Um, just having the brooch with the, you know, brooches here on the jacket is fun. And again, you have this like cinched waist sort of look, and that is like flattering for my body type. And I also like the layer, like the long layer of the lace underneath it. Long layer of lace, and with this one, you really could wear any type of footwear. Like, you could go for the boots. Since y'all can't see my feet, I'm just gonna hold up the footwear. But these boots would look super cute with this. They're so, like, just sort of like edgy with like a very sweet, sort of lacy outfit. So, I love that juxtaposition. That is so fun. You could also do um, sneakers, do sneakers or just little, you know, these slides would be cute. Yep. So that's that outfit. And I love this one because it looks really cute um, with any of my pants, like with the black pants would be really cute. Cause there is sort of a, I think this is a navy blue, like a navy blue detail, but the black would look really cute with that. Um, which we have the black purse, looks really cute. Boop. And then we also have these pants, which I'm obsessed with these pants. So for my birthday this year, my mom and I went to Anthropology. Like two of her friends, shout out to Linda and Nancy. They're her best friends from college. They came to visit, they're adorable. I love both of them. Um, they, they're like my aunts. So we all went to Anthropology um, and mom, like I tried, I saw that these were orange, like linen pants with like a bow. They tie right here. I'll try them on in a minute so you guys can see, but I was obsessed with these and my mom's like, we need to get those for your birthday. So yeah, I got them a little oversized just cause I like them to fit oversized. like. I feel like with my body type, I have trouble finding pants because there's like a lot of room in like the thigh area, the upper thigh area, which looks like strange to me. So it's either like skinny jeans or these like really flowy ones. Um, but let's try these on next and I'll show you an outfit with these that I love. Okay, so we're back with the orange pants. This is so cute. And I wish you guys could see the full length um, portion of this, but these are just my loose linen pants from Anthropology combined with this fun, pink top. I think this is from J. Crew from a couple years ago. It's very oversized, um, but it goes with a cameo for our little Victorian moment. Um, I just look so pretty. And I love these lace tops because they have holes in them. You have to put holes in your clothes to put a pin through it. So I like that. Boop. So this is so cute. So cute where you could even like pair it with this bag. I thought this was sort of unexpected just because this bag has like sort of graffiti on it. Um, but it has all the pink colors. And so I thought this would be really cute to pair with this, you know, maybe for some sightseeing. Um, and then we can put, of course, the denim jacket over it, which we've worn. So we'll try that. See, I just love this denim jacket so much. I love it because it fits over everything. Like how cute is that? How cute. I'm wearing the black little slides with this 
Um, or you can wear the black boots. The, these need to have a heel because they're a little long for me. I have petite length, length legs, so I find that like I need to wear something high. Um, but these are super cute. But let's, let's try on the green jacket because that surprisingly looks chic with like everything. Everything Victorian. Like it's very, it's very weird. Let's try it on and you guys can tell me what you think. <laughs> I mean, we have Victorian, we have oversized. We have a little bit of strange color blocking, but like I don't mind it as much. Um, I think it sort of looks sort of cute and I like the oversized nature of it. It's sort of fun. And this is enormous. This is like, I don't know, double or triple XL. And of course, when I do this on the trip, I have to make sure this, I like y'all, I am so terrified. I'm gonna like lose this or drop this on the trip. Like, but I wanna wear it. Like there's no point just keeping it in your jewelry box, right? So, okay, on to the next outfit. Okay, we're back with the next outfit, which I absolutely love. Um, this is a very cute blouse, which is actually from Target. And we have the black jeans, which is the black counterpoint to the regular denim ones. I just love this shirt so much, y'all. Like, it is everything I love in a shirt. It is super Victorian. Like, look at this collar. Just, I love the detail. It has double buttons on the front and a little mint green flower detail with the puff sleeves. And these, these just collar detail, the ruffle. I just love everything about the lace detail. Eyelet little... Oh, it's gorgeous. But this is um, my little brooch for this piece. This is from Anthropology from a couple years ago. Um, I just think it's really cute and really fun just to have it on here. It's just another fun accent for the epic collar. Um, and then with like the black pants, it looks so cute. It's oversized, but like I sort of love it sort of like out and slouchy. You could even maybe like tuck in one side like that or um, the black belt that I have, we could cinch it around the waist like this and do sort of like a peplum. Let's see if I can get this on here. It's like popping out. Something like this. Like that's sort of cute to have like a little black belt. That looks cute. Um, we could also do the Halloween bag with this. That looks adorable. And just like the sleeves are so fun with these collars. And maybe we could even roll the sleeves up um, just to accentuate the waist a little bit more. Isn't this cute? And like the little tie on the sleeves. Oh, it's so adorable. So stinging cute. Let's put on the jacket with it. Cause you know we need a jacket moment with this. It also looks cute with the green um, jacket, like everything does. Boop. I mean, look at this cuteness. Look at the cuteness. And then my favorite part about this whole thing is the collar detail over the outside of the jacket. So we're going to, so we're going to pull this out, put it over the jacket. I mean, hi, hello. How cute is that? I mean, we have the brooch with the brooches I have on here. I just, I love that and it looks so cute and so unexpected just to have this detail over the front of the jacket. And this is such a cute, 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 little ensemble. Um, I think what would look cute with this jacket shirt combo with the black pants are the black slides, or of course, we gotta rock the black boots because they're amazing. Also, um, we haven't busted this out yet. This would look sort of cute with this. Boop. Um, but okay, so I have a story about this shirt. So I got this at Target a couple years ago and it came in another color and I was like, oh, I should've got the other color because I love this shirt so much. I wear it all the time. So, you know, I love to thrift. I literally went to the thrift store and lo and behold, guess what I found? This shirt for $5 in this red color. Y'all, it's the same shirt in the red, which I absolutely adore. We will try the red on next so you guys can see. Um, I'm obsessed, I'm obsessed. Let's do it. We have the red. I went ahead and put on the green pendant with this again. And it is so cute. I've left some of the buttons unbuttoned here. Um, but I just, it's so cute and flowy. I love the silhouette and the sleeves. $5, y'all. It's amazing how, like, the things you can find at the thrift store, like, they just blow my mind. But um, this little tie detail. You push the sleeves up. Cute, cute, cute. And it might be giving Christmas, but... I'm just gonna put 
the jacket over this just to see how it looks. We're just gonna see. It could be crazy, it could be cute. We're just gonna roll and see what we can find <laughs> at this point. Do we do it? Do we do it? We do it. Let me pull this over. Pull this over the top. It is giving Christmas. It is giving a little Christmas, but I don't hate it. I don't hate it. And what we have not done yet is layer this over this, which you can, um, if it's like super, super cold or whatever, put it over. I feel like it's um, giving that oversized feel, which I love. Um, and I just love the, the black denim because they're fun and stretchy and like really comfortable. Um, so yeah, let's move on to the next outfit. Okay, so I put the hair back down for this one. It's just a really cute blue floral piece. Again, with these little sleeves and the cute little lace detail. I have the green necklace on with this as well. Um, and then we just have jeans. And these are my jeans, my straight leg um, hole in the knee jeans. And I think it's sort of fun because like, this is so like formal and it's fun to have sort of something disheveled on the lower half. Um, I don't know. I just think this is really fun. And we can roll the sleeves up here as well. That looks cute. Again, you can leave it out. You can tuck the front part. Um, have some lazy tuck going on. It's just really cute. I just have so many of these shirts, y'all. I have so many of these shirts. And I'm like, I want to bring them all. But, like, I don't need, like, every single Victorian shirt. Okay, let's try the lace duster over this and see how that looks. Um... But yeah, there's just so many, so many cute things. Do I need to bring these pants as well? I think I might. <laughs> That's like five pairs of pants, six pairs of pants. Y'all, am I out of control? Am I out of control? I don't know. I don't hate it. I don't hate it. Don't hate it. I don't know if we need it, but I don't hate it have this out, have it tucked, one side up maybe. So many things we could do. So many things. All right, I'm gonna put the hair back up and move on to the next. So before we get into my next outfit combination, I just want to say that the loud whooshing sound the whoosh you're hearing in the background is my beautiful air conditioning system. Um, it is very loud. It sounds like a rocket ship taking off to Mars. Like that's what it sounds like. So, um, instead of music in the background, that could be too distracting when I'm talking a lot, you get the dulcet sound of my air conditioning unit. It is 104 degrees today in Texas. So we need the AC all we can get. Um, all right, moving on. Okay, for the next outfit, I may have gone a little batty, but I think it's a batty in a cute way. So all I did is I just threw this top another sort of lacy Victorian top over this blue one. How fun is it? How fun? Luckily these shirts are very oversized. Like I got them like way too big. So like, how fun is it? It's giving like sort of bohemian Victorian winch. I don't know, we could tuck one part of it, leave it out. I sort of like the layers like that. Um, what bag do we want? What bag do we want with this? I think it's sort of cute. I think it's really cute. We could even like do the cameo like right here. Um, you're also hearing the dulcet sound of my epic neighbor, Roddy. He is like an incredible musician and he and my neighbor Milena live next door and he is like jamming. He's like rocking out. He plays like amazing guitar, went to their Halloween party. Shout out to Milona and Roddy. So if you're hearing that bass, that is them next door, like rocking out. Okay, um, we like, I think we like. Okay, um, bear with me. We're going for the third layer. The third, uh, I don't know if this is gonna fit over my giant sleeves, but we're gonna try it. I mean, it could be crazy. It can like be, just that that shit crazy but yeah I feel like this doesn't do the sleeves justice I feel like we need something that you know lets the sleeves hang out yeah we don't need this I like that just the two layers 
See, this is like how I love to roll when I try on um, any type of like outfits. It's just fun to like layer things that are unexpected. Like you would never think to put this with this. I love it. It's so cute. It's so cute. And I like it with these jeans that are sort of ratty. So um, we might have to bring like six pairs of pants. Six pairs of pants. Okay, and now I'm going to move on. We're going into like a basic, cute, just like casual outfits to wear to my nephew's baseball games because I am going to my nephew's baseball games. So this is the first t-shirt. This is just a basic sort of textured t-shirt. Um, I think it's made well. I also thrifted this one and I don't know if this bow is giving like Minnie Mouse or like an eight-year-old vibe or if it's cute. You guys let me know in the comments. I found it at TJ Maxx. It has like this little pearl detail. I just love it. I think bows are cute. They're fun. Um, this outfit is sort of fun. Boop. And I think like when you're sitting in bleachers, it's still stylish, but you know, you know, it's fun. I need our um, spooky spooky bag with this maybe. Let's see. Does this look good? Mm, do we like this or do we like maybe the backpack? the backpack because y'all know I'll be bringing my fantasy fiction novels to the baseball games and be reading those so oh is it giving like princess Anastasia <laughs> I'm undecided on the boat it might look better like back like with my hair back like this like in the back let me know what you guys think okay, we're back to like a basic tee since it's like my nephew's baseball tournament which we're going to there may be like three to four baseball games a day and they're little league games he's 12 um, so I just have like a lot of t-shirts. I love this striped one because it's just really fun and you can like lazy tuck the front. These are my sort of disheveled jeans again. Um, it's just like a simple outfit for baseball watching and like not really like doing very much. And again, it looks really cute with any of the jackets. Oh, that looks super cute over it. It's just, I mean, it's giving me a little bit of like Canadian tuxedo um, <laughs> with these pants. I don't mind it. I think it actually looks good and you can have like the shirt hanging down a little bit below because this is sort of cropped. Um, I don't mind it. All right, now I'm really gonna put my hair back up because it's very hot. <laughs> okay. Okay, so moving on to dresses. Um, this is a really cute black old navy dress. Cute poofy sleeves. I found this at the thrift store for, I think it was like $5 or something like that. Um, I have another sort of um, heirloom family brooch. This one isn't real, I don't think. Um, I just think it looks really, really cute with this dress. I love the detail with the puffy sleeves. I was actually looking for a black dress that I could wear to San Diego to my cousin's service. And I thought this would be really, really cute for summer. It's lightweight. Um, it comes down to the knee. Um, I just thought it was really, really cute. And it would look really good with um, the boots. I mean, hi. The boots would look awesome with this. Also, of course, the jacket looks amazing with this. The jacket looks amazing with everything. Like, look how cute that looks with that. And surprisingly, the green jacket also looks good. Um, just because it's just, it's so unexpected to put with this. So I find that like, it's like really interesting looking. And this maybe with even tennis shoes, um, like my gray Adidas tennis shoes, got the hair out. Um, yeah, it looks sort of fun. It's a very interesting, sort of juxtaposition between sort of the lacy black, the shoes, we have this cute bag that would look cute. Um, or we could just do the boots and do maybe our bat bag with it. That would look really cute with the denim jacket. But yeah, I thought this would be like a really cute, just, you know, nice dress. If it gets like really warm, it'd be like a really nice, cute black dress to wear because you always need a cute black dress. So um, yeah, let's go on to the next dress. Okay, so this next dress is so cute. This I think is like maybe a Target dress from last year. I just love this detail. Like it's so, um, it's just so beautiful and romantic. And it reminds me so much of Sleepy Hollow the movie. Like for me, it's giving Sleepy Hollow. So, you know, we had to, I have like a cream and gray striped version of this and I have this green one and I just like love this green. As you know, Grinch green is like my favorite color. So this is super cute. Um, we can pair it with the boots again. Um, or like my little black slides, which I'm wearing with it boop, right now, or, you know, flip floppers or whatever we want. You can even do like sneakers. I was thinking about maybe wearing this on the plane, um, with sneakers and then changing. Cause we're going to go straight to Sleepy Hollow from the airport. 
because Sleepy Hollow is like maybe like three hours from where we're staying. Um, so it's gonna be cute for the plane maybe with our cute little backpack and we could do our denim jacket, you know, this is just, it's just, it's cute, 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 cute. So yeah, and maybe some more jewelry. I don't know if we want to do the green necklace with this. That could look really cute. I sort of like that. I think that looks really cute. Boop. Okay. Let's um, try on the next dress. This is a fun combination. I'll be interested to know what you guys think of it. Okay, so the next one I have is this really cute pink dress. It is very similar to this pink top. This one is from J. Crew. This one's from Target a number of years ago. Um, you can see the color is different, but the same sort of detail because apparently this is like my vibe. Um, I just think it's really, really cute. It's very short, um, and I paired it over this lace skirt. So I'm going to move into my long, full length mirror in the bathroom. Forgive the mess of the bathroom, but you can you need to see the whole thing together. Okay, so this is like one of my favorite ensembles, just because it, when this dress is layered over this skirt, it just looks really, really cute. Um, it's just like a good layering piece, and also it's like really unexpected to have like a long sort of lace piece coming out from the bottom of this like really Victorian dress. And also, I think if we added like the little brooch right here, the little cameo, it look really, really cute. And um, yeah, so that's my next outfit. I think maybe with the boots, it'd be cool. Boop, boop, boop. And this is just my bathroom. Crap, everywhere. It's everywhere, but you know, we had to go through our clothes for this cute video. So that's where we're at. I thought for the next look, we had to go with the iconic Halloween ensemble, which is the cute, Halloween top. This is from Halloween T-shirt company. I think it's so cute. She's carving his mouth with a little knife. It's so cute. I have my Verona black bag. Um, we can even like lazy tuck the front. So if we want more like definition on our waistline, I think it's just super cute. It's super fun. I can wear it with slides, boots, any of the shoes. Um, and of course, it all looks cute with the jacket. It's very very cute. The probably, I probably would not pair these two together. It's probably the only thing I wouldn't pair with this because the colors are not exactly matching. <laughs> so we probably wouldn't pair that together. Um, but with everything else, it would look really cute. Yeah. And then if you are, you know, feeling cold and want to be cozy, I have, of course, the classic black hoodie, which just, you know, always looks chic because it's a black hoodie. So. I'm just gonna put this on because when it's 104 degrees in Texas, the thing you need, the thing we all need is definitely a very, very, very hot hoodie. But yeah, like even having like the stripe of orange here is fun. Um, yeah, it just makes like a really fun little outfit. Um, so that is my capsule collection. I'm gonna leave some things to the imagination. Um, and show you just like on the trip. So stay tuned on my Instagram. You'll see a lot of stories with that. Um, and just some of the other shirts that we're going to put together. And I have another Halloween dress that has not come in the mail. It's half orange and half black um, from Lively Ghosts that I'm going to probably wear as well. So you guys will see that um, and just see like what we do with this thing. It's not really a capsule collection. Everything you can you know, layer over things, but I have like way too many things. So maybe I can narrow some of it down. I do love this blouse that would be cute tucked in also we have this blouse i love the colors in both of these i feel like this one's more autumnal and this one's more like summery but really cute cinched at the waist both of them so those are just more cute shirts that look good that look good of course with the um the jacket and everything else we have i really am debating on whether i should bring my halloween jacket Okay, I'll just go grab it and try it on real fast over this, and then y'all can tell me what you think. Okay, so like, here it is. I love it so much. Um, I wouldn't necessarily pair it with this Halloween top. I don't think it looks bad, but like, my qualm with bringing this is that the only thing it's gonna fit over are like t-shirts, and I have like maybe four t-shirts. It won't fit over anything that's puff sleeved just because of the sleeves here. So it sort of limits what I can wear it with. Um, but I could just, you know, like put it over 
just like a basic t-shirt or bring like a black t-shirt or something like that. That's cute. Another t-shirt that I need to bring. Yes, but let me know, let me know what you guys think. Um, so yeah, so that is my collection for now. Ugh, do I need this many dresses? Do we need this many pairs of pants for a trip that's seven days? I don't know. I don't know, but we're going to um, just bring this stuff and find out how it goes. So that's it, guys. Thank you guys for joining me. Um, let me know your favorite outfit in the comments. And do we really need five pairs of pants and five dresses? And do we need to bring the Halloween jacket? That is always a question, even though it doesn't really fit over sleeves. But I could wear, I mean, go for the iconic shirt and put it on over. So... Let me know your thoughts. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for joining me. If you want to see more Halloween fun year round, you can find me on Instagram under the Halloween Collector and Halloween Hill Studio. And I'm on SC on Halloween Hill Studio as well. And uh, yeah, so keep on spooking.